Hey, it's Tax Quips time from TaxMama.com. Today, Tax Mama hears from Alyssa in the Tax Quips forum who's surprised. She says, I'm a small business owner, a personal chef, but I also work for a catering company. Even though I made less this year on my adjusted gross income than last year, I owe $1,300, while I only paid $200 last year. Could it be because I made $6,700 more from my business income than this year and have to pay more self-employment taxes than last year? It just doesn't seem like it should be that much of a difference. Rita Lewis, the enrolled agent from Connecticut, gave Alyssa the perfect answer. She says, yes, Alyssa, I think you figured out your own answer. Your difference in self-employment taxes at 15.3% on the extra $6,700 is $1,000. Earning a bit less overall was probably not enough to put you in a lower tax bracket. Deductions may have varied from year to year. Put both returns next to each other and go through them line by line to find other differences. My favorite proofreading tool is a two-year tax comparison. You feel the pinch more at tax time when you make more self-employment income, unless you are making estimated payments throughout the year. When you're paying both the income tax and the self-employment tax in one lump sum with your tax return, you're very aware of how much it is. As an employee, you don't have the self-employment tax, although half the amount was withheld from your paychecks as FICA and Medicare, with your employer matching the other half, and the income tax was withheld gradually throughout the year. Gradually and less painful, but it still adds up. Notice the total tax liability line on your tax return. Rita adds some excellent advice. She says, when you're pricing your services for potential clients, remember to factor in your income and self-employment taxes on your profits. And remember, you can find answers to all kinds of questions about being self-employed and other tax issues free. Where? Where else? At taxmama.com.